Hi, I'm Rachel with Holistic Faith Lifestyle. Welcome to this Christian EFT tapping for finding rest in God. So often we mistakenly step into the influence of the shoulds of life, getting so caught up in them that we even start applying them to our faith as though we are the ones responsible for developing our own spiritual inheritance when really as we know fully in our mind that our part of the relationship is to just show up and surrender because it's God that always does the heavy lifting for us. This Christian EFT tapping exercise for finding rest in God is aimed at freeing you up so you can receive God's rest rather than holding out for some imagined point in time where you feel like you've earned it. So that what you know to be true about God and who you are in Christ is reflected in the way you carry out your day and in how you respond to your list and those inevitable, countless interruptions. So get comfortable and bring yourself holistically into the practice. Mind, body, spirit, emotions, and even the influence of your relationships. And now that it's all gathered into one place in your awareness, take in a deep cleansing breath and let it all go, casting all your cares on God because he cares for you. Today's setup statement is, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. In most of my Christian EFT tapping practices, I stick with the commonplace setup phrasing of, even though I feel this specific thing, I fully love and accept myself. And I use it as a way to bring awareness to the baseline of where the thoughts and feelings lie in that specific moment. I find that acceptance of facts balanced with love and grace to be divinely supported and truly, for me, only available in Jesus. But today the acceptance statement stretches outward and puts the focus fully on Christ since that is where the ultimate rest for the soul is found. So let's begin first with prayer, agreeing with me, Holy Spirit come, provide wisdom and knowledge on where I'm working in my own strength to earn or receive rest. As I go through this uncovering, remind me of who God is and who I am in Christ. Let it be a strengthening and a blessing to me and to those in my care. Amen. Now, just rate the resonance of the setup statement, just the portion that includes the tension we're working to release today. I feel the push and pull of my day. Note any tension or anxiety you feel related to that push-pull. Maybe repeat it again to really get in there and see. I feel the push and pull of my day. And rate the tension on a scale of one to 10. And then starting at the karate chop point, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. At the crown of the head, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. At the start of the eyebrow on both sides or singularly, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. Moving to the outer eye on both sides, or just the one, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. The under eye point just above your cheekbones on both sides or singularly, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. Then under the nose, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. Under the mouth, just above the chin, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. At the collarbone, both sides, or just the one, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. And under the arm, with arms crisscrossed or elbows out to the side, on both sides or singularly, even though I feel the push and pull of my day, my soul finds rest in you. And that's one full round of Christian EFT tapping for finding rest in God. Nice work. Take a deep breath and sigh it out. And return to the setup statement once again for a check-in. I feel the push and pull of my day. 
it's okay when you hear that to be mindful of all that is calling for your attention because in reality, none of that is going to just disappear completely and fully. The point you are moving toward though is actively releasing the tension over that everyday busyness and welcoming in a sense of spiritual rest from God, that inner peace that comes with staying mindful of God's presence in your everyday. So here, you're just rating the tension portion of that push and pull and the anxiety that it creates. So I feel the push and pull of my day. How does that rate after one round of tapping and connecting with God? Has the tension decreased significantly? I hope so. If we were together one-on-one -on -one in a virtual or in-person session, you'd let me know how and where you're rating on that scale of one to 10 now that you finish the first round. And once you got to a significant space of release and uh, letting go of that spiritual and emotional tension, we'd move from this un unearthing portion to more of an excavation, like uprooting those limiting beliefs and trapped emotional energy, making space to replant the truth of your identity in Christ. I'll put a scheduling link below if you wanna check out my calendar, but for right now, keep going on your own, repeating the setup statement, ranking the tension, and tapping through from the crown point to the underarm point, as many times as it takes to feel a significant release and decrease of tension. Thanking God that even here inside the healing process, you're learning to take pause and rest, that you're not having to wait until you're on the other side, but that you're healing incrementally as you go. And be blessed.